What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Derek Brown, um, defensive tackle for the for Auburn. Um, he, of course, is one of the um, most highlighted players coming into this draft. Um, big fan of him. Um, not as big as some people. Um, there's nothing wrong with him, per se. But it's, and he is possibly the best defensive tackle in this class. There's one more I'll get to later down the road. But, um, yeah, I think Derek Brown is probably the most polished um, out of the better defensive tackles. But um, looking at his stats before we get into the film, we will be watching his game against Florida today. Um, I watched a couple – I watched um, a lot more games I've – Watched uh, watched the film against him against Alabama, a um, bunch of different games. Um, but we're going to be using Florida to kind of highlight my thoughts on him. Um, but looking at his stats, he doesn't have like a high sack number. He only got four. But um, he's productive all around, not just in pass rush. Plus, it's not always the sacks that he gets. It's the sacks that he causes sometimes. And also, he's a playmaker. He bats balls down. As you can see, he has four pass deflections um, and two forced fumbles this season. And uh, he he's just a playmaker. Um, and he's pretty big. As you can see, he's 318 pounds, 6'5". And he's actually pretty athletic for his size. Um, now, don't get me wrong. He's not like super athletic, speedy guy. But... For being 318 pounds, he's pretty explosive. Um, he is number five. He's going to be lining up right here. Uh, but they do. But Auburn does move him around a little bit. Actually, quite a bit. They move him to defensive end. They move him to one tech. Um, I think his best position will be three tech in the NFL. Um, one second. Sorry about that. I had to deal with my cat. But, um, yeah, I, I, I do think that his best position is going to be 3-tech um, in, like, a 4-3 type of scheme. Um, but I think he can play 1-tech for you. Uh, I, I think he'd be pretty good there, again, in a 4-3 scheme. If he is drafted by a 3-4 team, then I'd like him to play 3-4 um, defensive end. I wouldn't want him to play nose tackle full-time. Um, and even in a 4-3, I really don't want him at one tech. It's just he can play that. Uh, and like I said, Auburn moves him out to like defensive end on the actual edge. I wouldn't do that a whole lot. Maybe if like, you're in a situation where your defensive end core is really, really hurt, then sure. But I wouldn't do that. I, I'd, I'd stick him at 3-tech and let him run through B-gap and just... Make his money that way. But um, anyway, I got some timestamps next to me. And actually, the first timestamp is literally the first play. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Fantastic play. And that kind of highlights his ability to play against the run. Um, let me actually slow that down a little bit. So, if you look at where his helmet is in relation to the other uh, defensive lineman, you can sh you can see how explosive he is, especially for his size. His ball get off is actually pretty good for being as big as he is. Um, and not only that, but he is really powerful as well. Um, and as you can see where his hands are, he's got his hands inside on the offensive lineman's chest. Um, if you follow this channel at all, then you know that I'm a big fan of that. I don't like hands going outside too much. And if your hands are outside, I want you fighting to get your hands inside because that's where your power is. It's where your control is. Um, and he's going to pretty much bench press this dude. He's pretty much pushing this guy on his back. If you're the guard, you kind of need to sit your... Uh, Pretty much sit down on him, uh, sink your butt down, and try to stop this dude, or at least try to give up ground slowly. Um, 
but as you can see, his hands are still inside, and you can see that he has a little bit of length to him too. Um, he's got full control over this guard right now because he's got hands inside. He's powerful. He's explosive, and he also keeps his eyes on the situation as well. And he's going to come off the lineman and he's going to wrap him up. And because he had his hands inside, that's why he's able to disengage quickly. Because when you have your hands inside, you have control over the offensive lineman. And it's the same with the other way. Uh, if the offensive lineman has his hands on, on the inside of your chest, for the most part, he's going to have better control. There's nothing the guard can really do at that point. Very good play. Um, let's go to the next timestamp. Okay. Lining up right here. As you see, they kind of got him at defensive end-ish right now. Again, he's keeping his eyes on the situation the entire time. Oh, my bad. I'll rewind it a little bit too far. Looks like he's got his left hand inside, and I, I think his right hand is controlling the outside wrist. And if you're at defensive end, then that's what you should do so you can uh, get outside or at least control the wrist of whatever direction you're trying to go. If you're trying to go inside, then grab the uh, the offensive lineman's right wrist. But um, he, he, he stays aware of the situation, and this is something that I was critical of in my Chase Young film session. Um, Chase Young doesn't like to chase people down. That's not a problem for Derek Brown. He has no problem disengaging and going to try to wrap this dude up. Chase Young probably would have jogged and just kind of stared. Uh, Derek Brown's not like that. He will absolutely pursue you, and I'm a big fan of that. Um, don't have any concerns for him there. Um, now, w with what I just said, don't get it twisted. Don't try to turn that into me saying I like Derek Brown better than Chase Young because that is not what I'm saying in the in the slightest. So don't don't try to twist my words around because Chase Young is still a better pass rusher. But um, okay, lining up right here. And by the way, he is not actually offsides. That line is just off. It, um, the line of scrimmage is where the center's hand is, uh, where the ball is, and his hand isn't crossing that. The line is just off there. Um, you don't see that too much, but uh, it threw me off too watching film originally. So, he's got his right hand inside, and he's using his left hand to try to control that wrist, to control that arm so he can get off of him. He's going to use power and just explosiveness to get free. He doesn't get the sack, but still, he still won that matchup. He's still got a hit on the quarterback that's going to add up eventually. Um, and also, his ball get off, once again, was pretty good. Forgot to highlight that at the beginning of the play. Once again, he's ahead of the other three defensive linemen because his ball get off is very good. And actually, too, this again shows him using his length because he's using his right hand um, on the inside of his chest and he's kind of keeping the, uh, the offensive lineman at bay. As you can see right there when he extended his arm, he's keeping the offensive lineman at bay with his length. And that allows him to pretty much just get free, like right there. There's nothing there's nothing he can do. He can't reach him at this point. He can just go. Like I said, he doesn't get the sack, but still. Still a very good play. Um next timestamp is two oh seven. Okay. Uh right here.
Now, he's kind of being held a little bit, and he's being blocked by two people. But look how far back he's pushing these two. And he's being held there. And he got his hand up to try to bat that ball down. That's something that he is very good about doing. He likes to get that hand up to try to deflect passes, which I'm a big fan of. But just his outright power, he's being double blocked and being held, and he's still pushing these two back. That just shows how much power and strength this guy has. He can be a real disruptor, and right there tells me that he can play uh, like one tech for you in a pinch. I wouldn't start him there. I'd rather him play three tech, but he can play one if you need him to. And he could play in a 3-4 scheme because he can kind of deal with um, – with, uh, Two offensive linemen at once. And he's got the hands for it and the awareness for it. So he can play in the 3-4 as well. Uh, wouldn't play him at nose, though. 350. Um, yeah. 356 is the next timestamp. Right there, it looks like, yeah. Oh, my bad. I pointed out the wrong player. He's right here. Sorry, this isn't the best angle. But he's right here. Again, he's got his hands inside. Um, or at least his one arm. He's got his hand inside and he's using his length once again to create space. And um, he's pretty much just going to swim toward the inside to try to get pressure, give a little spin. And he's going to go for the ball. Um, and, and that's another thing, too. Um, he's always thinking the next step ahead. He swims over the top. The guard kind of... Uh, the guard does get beat there, but the guard recovers well, and Derek Brown doesn't get free to go get the sack. But he doesn't stop there. He gives a little spin move to try to get free. And because of that, he's rewarded with the football. And I'm actually going to go full speed here because he gets a bit of a return on this. He's got a little bit of athleticism for a man his size. Um, he does kind of get tired and fall, though. But uh, that's to be expected. Get him some oxygen after that play. Um, let's move to the next one. Slow it back down. Or 14. For some reason, it wasn't showing the. There it goes. Okay. Uh, I don't have to highlight him this time. Looks like they kind of got him playing one right now. Which is fine. They Auburn moves him around quite a bit. Very good play there as well. Um, again, he's got one of his hands inside. Uh, he does have his right hand a little bit high, but that's because of what he's trying to do. Um, looks like the offensive lineman tries to lunge a little bit, and he just kind of pulls down and pretty much puts him almost on his face. Uh, he doesn't end up getting this tackle, but th that's a very good engagement. Like I said, he's just very good with his hands, and he's very powerful. And once again, he is pursuing the uh, the runner. So, big fan of that. Um, 537. Eh, 536, fine. Right here. Got his right hand inside, and it looks like he's got his left hand on the outside, on the, uh, yeah, the outside shoulder, and um, he's going to, yep, <laughs> that, that's the direction he's going. Uh, that's kind of what I was talking about earlier. He's very good with his hands. Um, that's that's pretty much his game. He doesn't have anything like super special technique-wise. He's just really powerful, and he's really good at the feet and hands. So that's kind of his thing. Um 
844. I don't have too much left to show here. Um, and by the way, the plays I'm skipping over, it's pretty much just ones I don't have much to talk about. Either he just gets double blocked or gets chop blocked or whatever. Not much to really break down on those plays. Looks like he's got his left hand on the outside. That's the direction he's going. Still got his uh, his right hand inside. <laughs> he he kind of gets blocked by the running back a little bit here. Still keeps his hand up to try to bat that ball down. Just really good. Just explosiveness, really. Um, I got one more play I want to show, and that's just because it's a good play. Um, I've kind of already made my point, but this is just a good play. As a matter of fact, I'm going to let this go full speed. Um, he's lining up right here. Yeah. Um, a little bit of a return there, too. Let me uh, slow that back down. So... <laughs> Uh, I love this shit. Once again, explosiveness. He timed the snap really, really well. He's pretty good at doing that. Um, I don't think the uh, the offensive linemen are really prepared for him to be as explosive as he is for his size. Um, right here, he's just going to show power, and he's pretty much just going to bench press this dude. Uh, but again, he's got his hands inside. That's where his control is. The center is trying to help, but at this point, it's just too late. Um, he's going to bat that ball down, get a strip sack, and then he's going to pick up his own fumble and get some yards off that. Get almost to midfield. That's fantastic. Um, that, that again, just shows his playmaking. He's all, He's aware. He's... Yeah, he, he he's he's not just a dumb defensive lineman. Um, he's very he's got a good football IQ, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so that's pretty much all the film I have to show. But just my overall thoughts. Uh, by the way, the original video is uh, Jesse. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that uh, I'll, the link to the original video will be in the description of mine. Um, but. Like I said throughout the video, he does get moved around quite a bit on the Auburn uh, defensive line. Auburn kind of moves all their guys around. Um, but I do think that his best position is three-tech. Um, if you want him to play one, he can do that for you, and, he, and it will work. Um, I think the best system for him is a 4-3 because, like I said, I think three-tech is his best bet. But if 3-14 uh, does draft him, I think he would be fine. As a 3-4 defensive end, I wouldn't want him as a full-time um, zero or nose. Um, but, I mean, he can do that for a little bit. But I, I think 3-4 defensive end would be best in a 3-4 situation. Um, because, he, like I showed, he does have really good hands and his awareness is pretty good. And that's kind of the traits you look for in a 3-4 defensive end. Um, cause you're going to get, um, double teamed quite a bit. So you really need to be able to use your hands to get free. And, um, you, you need your eyes to be pretty good so you can read the play even while you're getting double teamed. And he's pretty good at doing that. So he can play in a three, four, but I just really want him to just be in a four, three, play three tech, just line him up in B gap and just let him bully the interior offensive lineman. But, um, yeah, I think that's really all I have to say. Oh, um, and I kind of mentioned it before, too. Like I said, he doesn't really have, like, this massive arsenal of tools that he uses. It's, like, he doesn't really pull too much cloth. He doesn't really, like, spin, swim. He does have a bit of a swim move sometimes. Um, and he did do a spin move earlier in this film session, but it's not something he does a lot, and it's not something he's super good at. Um, but he's just really good with his hands, and he's really powerful. He's explosive. And because he doesn't have all those skills, that kind of hints to me that he hasn't hit his ceiling yet. I think that if you get a good defensive line coach, I think I think you can actually improve Derek Brown quite a bit. 
Um, so big fan of this guy as a prospect. Um, and yeah, anyway, um, this video is already 20 minutes, so I'm going to wrap it up here. If you like this video, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.